Hey guys, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We're not in Letharia right now, I know. So we're back in Gormont for a second. I just wanted to show you guys, I was looking for the Poach Expansion Kits and apparently back in uh, one of the episodes where we had to go to Gormont and uh, go to the Bandit's Hideout to help those uh, thieving kids. <laughs> Yeah, there was a, literally a chest right up here that I missed, and it had a pouch expansion kit in it. I was like, what the fuck? Did I really just, like, walk that by? But yeah. There's another one I want to go for now, and it's actually in Letharia, so yeah. I'm pretty sure we gotta go to Yeshiva Harbor. We gotta go there anyways, but... I want to take a little bit of a detour this episode. We've been pretty gung-ho with the story lately, so... Ooh, the sun is going down, and it looks so pretty here. Look at the frickin'... Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. But anyways... I'm pretty sure we gotta make our way up here. To get the next pouch expansion kit. Because I wanted to get a couple of those during this playthrough. I don't need to get them all, but I want to get majority of them. There's, uh, I think there's six pouch expansion kits in this game. I know there's only five playable characters, but back when Van Damme was a playable character, if you used uh, expansion kit on him, then he, when he dies, it's like, boom you lose it, so they kind of give you an extra one just in case. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a God's Ferd Isle up here. That's what, that's where we gotta go. I'm pretty sure. If it isn't, then we'll have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Yeah, this is it for sure. Okay, bring it the Goud Turkin. Uh, one second. I know we gotta be on this island here, this God's Ferd Isle, but I wanna unlock the warp. So Ooh, when did it get oh. so late? And I've started glowing. Oh, Pyra, you don't need to be self-conscious that you're glowing. It's adorable. Um, I just want to get the unlock point for up here. Hey, the nice. Because, yeah, there's two... Um, there's two cloudways in this game. Oh, I could go into it too and unlock the other side. Fuck it, you know what? Let's do it. Let's have some, uh... Rex! Rex! Rex, no! Rex, no! No, you didn't, Rex. You didn't refill the love source. I wanted to save those! Damn it, Rex. I should have switched that item out a long time ago. Fuck, so... <laughs> Whatever. I guess their affinity charts are all gonna... Fly open. The 3,000 trust item. <laughs> are ya? Are ya really? Magnificent. Ah, well, whatever. I used the love source. Big fucking deal. I just didn't think he would refill it. Maybe I should have been a little more weary about that. No. Oh god, this is where all the overleveled monsters are. Maybe I can't get to the other side yet. Go 
Like I said, I just want to get to the other side. Huh, maybe I should come back. It depends if I die. If I get my ass kicked, I'm just gonna fucking walk out of here. No, I just figure since we've been so... Ooh, hello. I figure since we've been so gung-ho with the story, I just wanna take it easy a little bit. Get some pouch expansion kits and whatnot. Let's not aggro these tough looking monsters. Like that. Rex, stop telling me where to go. <laughs> Woohoo! I managed to make it. <laughs> and the development level went up too. That's totally worth it. But yeah, this is the other side I was trying to get to in one of the episodes. Get out of my way! Have we unlocked this island yet? Nope. We have now, though. The Isle of Sleeping Remains. Uh-oh. You know what? Screw it, guys. I said I was gonna do this at some point, so I will now. We're gonna make the big fat jump. Motherfuckers! That was pretty fun. Now why is this thing still following me? It's all the way up there. Go away. Okay. I just wanted to unlock those areas. Now we can go to Godsford Isle. Like I said I was going to earlier. And what we gotta do is we have to run back here real fucking quick. If you would move faster, we gotta hop on this little island here. So yeah, we gotta take the little uh, a little detour here. It's gonna take us around uh, kind of around the place here. But it's gonna take us to a floating island where... Um, the pouch expansion kit is that I need and then we'll have three I don't think it's that island down there though I remember reading on the wiki that I was just looking at that if it's got the collection point which it does down there that glowing spot then don't go for it just wait for the next one. Wherever that is. Are you sure? Well, there's no chest there. Uh, I guess it's I guess it's just going to keep taking us around, so I guess just enjoy the ride for now. Here, I'll turn up the music a little bit. Bridget's flames are, like, taken off into the distance. There's Fonset down there. I think that must be the island right there. We're coming up to it. 
If I, if I so much as fail this fucking jump, I'm gonna off screen it. Oh my god, I'm getting nervous. I gotta make the jump. What a what a spot to put a pouch expansion kit, eh? Jump! I know there's another spot <laughs> where it's like really cryptic too. There we go. Hey, that's a good amount of fucking cash too. Word. Okay. So yeah, I want to use the pouch expansion kit on Nia, of course. And... Huh, this is a tough one. Morag. Tora, I'm gonna give you the last pouch expansion kit, simply because, in a way, you're kind of the most over-fucking-powered character in the game with Poppy. Like, I swear to God, if you properly optimize Poppy, you'll be set. You'll be set the whole game. Uh, yeah. So now we have three pouch expansion kits in total. There's one more to be had throughout the story, and then, yeah, the other ones we'll have to go out of our way for, but we can't get them yet, so yeah. Anyways, now that we've got that out of the way, which I don't, I don't regret doing that at all, that was kind of fun. It was fun going out of the way for a minute. Um, let me see here. You know what? I'm going back to Argentum for a hot minute. Who the fuck says a hot minute anymore? Oh, God. Um, but yeah, I need to get back here for a hot minute and buy some pouch items. One of my favorite pouch items in the game, personally. I'm not saying it's the best fucking pouch item, but... It's a personal preference for me when the arts are constantly, like, recharging. So Narsapair jellies, in my opinion, are like my shit. Thing is, fruity rice balls are pretty damn good too, considering the fact that they're a lot cheaper. So maybe I won't... Yeah, I'm not going to buy as many, but I do want to get like five. Okay. See if there's anything to sell here. Nope. Something's going on with my uh, computer down here. I don't know what. I know you guys can't see it, but it's like frickin' support assist. Ooh, specials recharge. Pretty good like this. I know the Tori Gonda is my favorite, but I don't know if they sell them in Gormot yet, or if I have to get the development level up more. So I think for now, I'm going to stick with, yeah, three Wisp Recorders. So here's what I want to do. Let's see. Rex. Rex has a fruity rice ball on him, so I'm just going to leave that there and give him a wisp recorder. Same with you. Nia, I'll give you a Narsapair jelly. Uh... Here, I'll give you a sparkle sugar and a wisp recorder. Those things last two hours, so that's more than enough time for me. Um... And now we're gonna refill on those. Nice. I feel a power surge. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're good for pouch items, I feel like. I just like it when they're the my arts and specials are recharging on their own. It makes the battles go a lot smoother. Like, really, it's like two different games almost. 
the amount of things you can do in one fight if you have, like, your shit constantly going, you know? Let's rest the spell. So, shall we? Actually, Rex! Rex! That's a good idea! I never even fucking thought about that. I should go rest. Where's, uh... Let's go to Corinne's house for a second. I love how it's only one gold. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't... I haven't done this for a while. Holy crap. See, Rose, I'm getting better. I'm stronger than this, you know? Much, much stronger. Much, much stronger. Holy fuck. Experience begets wisdom. Look at how many damn levels I'm going up. That's more like it. I keep forgetting about bonus EXP until Rex was like, Hey, let's go rest. I'm like, hey, 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 that's not a bad idea, young boy. Oh, my congestion's getting to me a little bit. You certainly seem well rested. Good morning. What do you mean, good morning? I'm very well rested. You're all it's mine. still nighttime. I guess I'll just have to fix that real quick. Cool. Now we've all rested up. Anyways. Now. Let's actually move on with the story. I've kind of spent this episode, uh... Just getting things really we're here so shall we what have we here flora heals an aching soul actually here i'm gonna save it real quick i like to save my game sometimes the nintendo switch is a pain in the ass and it'll just be like oh your software closed for unknown reasons and it's like fuck when I do shit like get expansion kits like that, I just want to save. I don't want to have to go back and do that stuff. Cutscenes you can skip and rewatch or whatever, but when it comes to actually getting shit done like that, yeah. Finally, you took your sweet oh, right. These guys again. The... Morag knows her. Hey. Morag knows him, I mean. You just don't give up, do you? Come on, out of the way. Stubborn leech than turtle. <laughs> this time I'm here for something a little bit different. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I want to see just how good you are, chum. I've been waiting here for three whole days already. Well, three days? Seriously? Sorry for holding you up. No, oh, thanks. I don't pay on it yet. <laughs> well, then. Fight me, and we'll see who's the idiot. How did you know that we'd be here? I'll tell you if you can beat me. You want to join the fun too? No. You all go ahead. Huh? Why? What a shame. Looks like the illustrious Flamebringer won't be helping you this time. Thanks for the concern and all, but maybe you should be worrying about yourself. Big tree to your right, big rock to your left, and a cliff right behind you. Which one's gonna get you this time, eh? <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, furry ears. Check this. Oh! He's got moves, Rex. He may be a pain in the ass, but he's definitely not a weak one. Morag knows him. See his 
Well, we've beaten him a couple times now. Oh, don't feed his ego. <laughs> Fam, don't look. <laughs> look away. <laughs> What are we going to do with this guy, eh? I'm going yeah, turn that down a little bit. Give him the topple. I love it. The specials are recharging on their own now. Nice. Are we going to get the chain? Nah, we're not going to get the chain attack on Zeke. Oh, Tora just got fucking, like, nilched. We took him down. Not bad, chum. Right back at you. Impressive. Didn't think I'd ever see another driver and blade on Moragon Bridges level. You're still holding back. Where's the Aegis' true power? Mitra's power is only for fighting bad guys. Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. So I'm a good guy now, is that it? Am I wrong? <laughs> I like your attitude there, chum. I like your attitude. Well, that's an Aegis's driver for you. How did we do, your highness? Sure, you pass. I think we can just about let you into the Praetorium. What the hell? <laughs> I've been working for Indor for a while now. A kind of special envoy. They asked me to keep an eye out for the Aegis. Actually, I volunteered to. You know how it is. I'm jolly sorry for testing you like that. We were planning on getting this over with in one encounter, but His Highness has the most awful luck, so... Don't awful luck. <laughs> yeah, I think I got that. What are you talking about? Everyone has bad days, right? <laughs> Zeke, you're setting yourself up. Bye. Oh, Zeke. Oh, that loading screen's taking a little while, eh? Oh, shit, straight up. Oh, so pretty. 
We just like teleported here, eh? Normally we spend time on the boat. <laughs> Mithra. <laughs> Pretty well. Awesome. Uh, let's bring more egg on the team here. Sorry, Tora. Um. But yeah, here we are. We're in Indal now. The Indaline Praetorium. This place is very, very nice looking. <clears throat> I really like the music in this place too. Like, I forget what the nighttime sounds like, but it's very peaceful. Congratulations. Aha, here's what I wanted for a while now. Court chips. I'm sure everyone could benefit. I just think everyone deserves to be leveled up a little bit. It's using up quite a bit of my cash, but what can you do, right? Alright, that... Oh, boy. Took a while. Uh, what else? Quator Street. I guess I'm just checking things out real quick. Honestly, these are meh. The accessories are just kind of meh. The refugee campground. Okay, <laughs> I don't think we can uh, go all the way back around, so I'm just going to warp back real quick. But yeah, guys, this episode was mostly exploring and shit, getting those pouch expansion kits and stuff. So yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, the cookie seller. Yeah, how could I not buy some of these? I'll buy like five of them. I think this... I know this sounds weird, but it actually affects... Haroon's affinity chart here. Yeah, be kind to the townsfolk and do a few small deeds. So in order to get her second affinity chart level unlocked, you have to help three people out. And there's only like four people in the entire game you can actually help like that. So it's very cryptic if you don't 
if you don't know beforehand, it's like, what the fuck do you mean by that? So yeah, we had to buy her cookies. Um, speaking of Perun, hold, hold the fuck on, hold, hold the door for a minute. I swear to God, it, the the jiggle physics on her are, are a little bit uh up there. Yeah, see that? Ba ba boing, ba boing, ba boing. Do a jump. Do the blades jump? You see what I mean, though. There, it's a little bit of extra work there. They put a little bit of extra time into the development of. The bad. Oh my god. This fucking game. What am I gonna do with it? <laughs> Anyways. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we head up the Indolene Praetorium and do some more of the story. So yeah. I'll see you guys then. Peace.